everybody, this is Berg Vavant. I'm Mike Bazzelli, and this is Lonnie the Theater Lady. And we've just come back from seeing Pentaglaze. No. Pentaglaze? We didn't Pentaglaze. see it. Pentaglaze. 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 Is this going to be like Les Mis again? No, it's Pentaglaze. Pentaglaze. At Quantum, which is in Homewood this time, because Quantum goes all over the place. Yeah, and it's kind of on the border, like... They said it was in Homewood, but when we actually went, it was on the border of Point you know Breeze what? It's and East like Liberty. It was a very, very safe neighborhood. Yeah, so let's talk about the show. I, I don't even know what to say because I had so much fun at that show. It was, a really it was fun hilarious. Time. It was really but dark, too. <laughs> it was really fun. What I really loved about the show, it's an immersive experience. You go in. And it starts from the moment you actually it starts from the moment you park your car. You it just becomes a, a, an immersive experience. I I don't want to give too much no, away. No, but oh, okay. but Spoiler even story. the lobby oh, was the lobby, very everything. interesting. And then when you got into the theater itself, the set really I, put you in the place. Really put you well in yes. the experience. And because it was in it took place in some generic, unnamed, Eastern European country, right. the set was perfect because it was very stark, it felt very Eastern European, no frills, nothing right. fancy, cement, you right. know, it was just... I kept waiting for them to say the name of the country and they never do. They don't want you to so know like the name Rebecca. of the country. What? In the movie Rebecca, they never say Rebecca's name. Oh, yeah, they I've never, never seen that. They never say the second... The second Mrs. Whatever her name is, Mrs. De Winter. But this was a, a to okay. me, this was a fascinating play because it was written around 1930 yes. by a Belgian playwright. Right. And let's see if we can pronounce it. I'll say the first name if you can say the last. Michel de Galarod. Galarod. Okay, it's close enough. It's Michel de la Galarod. Yeah. And um, it was How about that? kind of a generic play like that, that had to be adapted because it was. Well, it was. You know, it's interesting. It was. It seemed like it was. I'm assuming I've never read the original play. No. I'm assuming right. it's like comedy de l'art. Okay. Know. Anyway. Um, so no. So he it, wrote it, but it was Michel de, Galar de Galarod. But it adapted. was adaptable to modern time, which yes. is what the. I, I Jay guess you, Ball adapted it. Right. And it, uh, he took up what I was assuming is it, like I said, comedy de Del Art style. It had your central character was a clownish character. I didn't think he in, was well, clownish. The original. The, in the original, I would assume. The original Pantaglaze right. was clownish, but this one played by Randy Kovitz. Well, Randy gives dimension and depth to everything we know. Yes, absolutely. And he was phenomenal. He played an Allen Ginsberg type, type poet. However, he looked exactly like Allen Ginsberg. He really did. He, he let did. his hair grow and it was all curly. <laughs> uh, he had the glasses. He had him the bushy beard. Drop out. And, yeah. Um, no, that was Timothy Leary. Oh, that's But he was, a, they were... Co, yeah. Yeah, they were, they were Co, the same beat, beat comrade, poet things. Yes. Yeah. But he played that role with tremendous skill and talent and Aplomb. believability. This tremendous and, aplomb. Yes. And lots of humor. He inadvertently uh, was elected, well, he was taken over to this country of oh, yes. unknown origin where everybody had these really crazy accents that None who of were they? Were they French? Were they German? Were they Czech? Mix they were up just, a little bit of everything. Yeah, and they all had these right. undistinguishable accents, which he I love. Picked up at the airport by a chauffeur named Babouche. Babouche, who Babouche. was played by this wonderful, unpronounceable Almost name. Almost as hard as Babouche. Yes, we learned it. Ab. Ab. Vavankos. 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 Yes, Vavankos. and he was funny. But anyway, <laughs> back to Randy and the Allen Ginsberg character. Yes. Um, when Jay Ball and the man who adapted it, yes, and Jed Allen Harris, the both of whom work at CMU, oh, terrific. worked in, on this together, this adaptation, mm -hmm. and they based his character on the Ginsburg thing, but what's interesting is that Allen Ginsberg actually went to Prague. Oh, really? In 
didn't gosh. start a revolution, though. I'm no, right. he didn't, but he was uh, <laughs> escorted out. Oh, my! Because of the conditions at that time. Oh! I think it was, gosh, I think it was 1965. Oh. Yeah, and so that's what gave them the idea to base the right. Pantagles character on Alan well, That's Ginsburg. interesting because there's also no name of a country, but there's also an undistinguishable time period that takes place. That's so true. There's like cell phones, but there's references to people in the, like the 1980s and... Um, yeah. Yeah. It was well, interesting. It was, right. it was, I found it hilariously funny. Well, and Tony that's... Bingham as El Presidente. <laughs> Tony Bingham was hilarious. <laughs> he was so funny. My, I, everything that he did cracked me up. But when he was behind the window, <laughs> these things going on with uh, Weston Blakesley, who I didn't know. Oh, what, also could very be funny. so funny. He was the Weston policeman. Blakely, very funny. Hilarious. And he also played four different oh, world leaders on screen that, as yes. he was El Presidente speaking with them yes. individually. And he was each of them. I no, mean, I it know. Was him, I, I know. I so read this. I read this. He was Peter Shea. I read this thing. He was Peter Shea. I read he this. was Margaret Thatcher. Yeah. He was Idi Amin. It, yeah. He was Muammar Gaddafi, and he was these characters really? as a president say, talking to himself of what these characters were doing. <laughs> but it was even funny, er, funnier. I, <laughs> wasn't. But they were. Just, I'm sorry. They were. I'm sorry. Stuff. And then the other, I would say, main character would be, and they even said Rachel Raquel. There was even oh Lisa Ann Goldsmith. Yeah, Lisa Ann Goldsmith. Yes. She was not. Like hilariously funny, but she was really, character really had, good. Yeah. Her character had so much depth right. and so much um, real. Right. There real. was a great scene between her, though. Her and Tony Bingham. That was a great scene. And we won't say that would be a spoiler. Yeah, that would to be say a that. I want to. You know what? I have to mention. I think Max Pavel did really well. Um, I did. Well, Kimberly Parker Green. Um, Alex Nell. Alex Nell. Great cast. A really great cast. And Sam Turek, who Turek. played P E S T. Pest. Pest. Yes. Pest. Pest. But it was, we, we didn't even say what a farce it was. It was like a, so farcical, it was like a farce. Of a farce. Right, a farce. It was with like. a deep theme and meaning. But it was Woody Allen. You, it was caught, you little bits of bananas Clouseau. in there. Oh, oh, I Duck can say soup. It, it, yeah, what else? of the Pink Panther series, all co-mingled in together, in w overlapping on this original, um, yeah, French or Belgian. Belgian, right? And writer. you know what? The Belgian writer that did this, Michel de Gellerode, Gellerode, said that this was a farce to make you sad because it and was it about did. it did because it was about revolution and sometimes the misguided and misdirected and unsure even goals of the revolutionaries and what did they right. really want, what were they hoping to accomplish. They're a lot more than just funny, but it's really funny. Really funny. Well, I mean, oh, it was a totally no, dark comedy, but I don't have any objections comedy. to yeah. darkness. Right. <laughs> Not at all. From Google. If, go if it's good enough for Google, it's, it's good, good enough, enough for us. us. Do you need the Heimlich? <laughs> okay, we'll cut that part. I hope so. Oh my God. I've never seen somebody die before. The name of the play was Babouche. 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 No, I'm drinking champagne. You can drink that. I know. Feed her wife. Oh! 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 <laughs>